Back in 1980, I actually had an electric car dealership. Right now, we're going to see how far electric vehicle technology has gone in 20 years. And take a look at this picture of the cell phones. There's a cell phone I had 20 years ago and then the iPhone right next to it. You can see we've come a long way. Okay, we're here at Merritt Builders in Rocky Ridge, Maryland. I'm here with Dave and, and we're, we're going to look at your Tesla Roadster, but more importantly, you're, build, you're building charging stations that are solar powered, is that correct? Correct. We're manufacturing uh, electric vehicle infrastructure solutions and primarily that relates to a solar powered charging station to handle the new electric vehicles that are coming out in November. What we're looking at here is a solar powered carport. This could also be a garage. This could be a large building with solar panels on it. It could be a huge parking facility at a Walmart or other commercial facility. And what this does is it allows people to drive in, plug up and charge their vehicle. They can pay with a credit card or whatever. And so they're, while they're shopping in the mall or going to dinner or otherwise spending some time somewhere, they just plug in their car and charge it up. So the really cool thing about these electric vehicles is eventually you'll be able to charge them anywhere. And so there goes your, your range issue is no longer an issue. And this Tesla has a 200 mile range anyway. So it's really looking good for the future of electric cars. And we've got a bunch of them coming out this fall. And we're going to see just how this Tesla performs here in a minute because we're actually going to take a drive and this will dispel any thoughts you have about uh, electric cars being toys, uh, being golf carts or whatever. Wait until you see how this Tesla vehicle performs. And they're coming out with a luxury sedan next year. Uh, there's a couple of other electric cars. The Nissan Leaf is going to be a good performer. And of course, the Chevy Volt. And there's others coming out. So the electric vehicle is here to stay. And it's here for real. Okay, I'm here with Dave Sirio, and we're in the cockpit of a Tesla Roadster. I'm going to get a close-up here of the dash. Oh. And what what do you think? You just gave it a short drive, and you're going to give it another drive right now. What are your initial thoughts? Well, I'm impressed with the performance of this car. Uh, quiet, of course, but I mean, really, the power is there. And I, I just got out of a Viper, so it isn't like I'm not used to driving something with a little bit of power. But this is an exceptional Roadster. It has a great feel to it. Steering is tight. Steering is fantastic, to be honest with you. And the performance is great. So uh, I really have enjoyed the limited time that I've been in it. Just a few moments. I'm looking for more, but and the limited we'll, time. We'll get I really your comments enjoyed. as you drive it again here in a moment. Absolutely. Okay, we're started. I can't even tell the engine started. Yeah, it's a little difficult to tell. It is. And it's got some real power to this bad boy. Holy mackerel. Oh. It, it, it reminds me of like. An amusement ride to a certain extent, uh -huh. where you, you you have that little noise where it's just a slight acceleration, but no heavy engine noise. Uh -huh. It's like a roller coaster taking off from zero to whatever real quick. Just a, like a whir. Brand new Tesla. Okay, you started it. I can't even hardly tell you started I it. I know but it's amazing. Okay. It's so quiet. Ready? Yep. Here All we right. go. Here we go. That is oh, 50 right man. there, and 60. Wow. There you go. Zero to 60 that quick. And wow. it's unbelievable performance from a small car like this. And what's great about it is it feels like an amusement ride. Like, for example, when you go to an amusement park and you get on one of the standstill roller coasters that starts from zero and bolts you real quick. That's what it feels like. Because you don't hear the engine. There is. You, yep, you, exactly. The electric motor is just silent. Exactly. This, but you know, it rides nice, too. Yes, it does. It's a very it, nice riding. I was car. thinking it was going to ride real harsh, you know, like, a, like some of these super sports cars do. But... It feels pretty compliant. And I'm not feeling any type of cowl shake in the windshield. This is a target top car, and the cowl is good and strong, and the suspension is fantastic. So very pleased with the performance of this car so far. Mm -hmm. And uh, coming out of just driving a Viper, you, you would think that, you know, this is a car that's not going to impress as far as power, but this mm -hmm. car does. Okay, so, so you would compare, here we go to a sharp turn here. So you would compare this even favorably to the Viper? As far as acceleration, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what about handling? Handling, it's a little stiffer than the Viper, uh, but I think it handles extremely well. And I think it may actually, on a type of a road course type of situation, mm -hmm. may handle even a little better. Okay. Uh, because of the Viper being rear wheel drive uh, and having the front engine, 
uh, the weight displacement is a lot different on this car. And I think this is more like a mid-engine almost yes. uh, feel to it. Exactly. Exactly. Like a Ferrari or a mm -hmm. Pantera or one of the uh, popular mid-engine cars. Yep. And the gauges are neat. Speedometer on the left, mm -hmm. gauge about your uh, electric consumption, mm -hmm. and it even has a green side when you get coasting. Uh, it gets to the green side and okay. it shows you that you're actually uh, doing better than uh, charging the car and of course touching the brakes will regenerate that also Wow yep. Air conditioning feels good. There's no cooling system on the car. No oil pressure to worry about all that is a plus So you've got a whole lot of parts that are missing mm -hmm. That that aren't even here. Correct. So I, I'm driving this now We started out with about a hundred and seventy three mile range when I first started the car I've driven it about maybe five miles, and it's down to 158. But we're driving it hard. Yeah. We're giving it a little bit of a you know acceleration situation. Normal driving, 175 to 185 miles. Normal driving on a charge should be. And I'm still here with Dave Serio, and you're still driving this Tesla. And um, we're here in beautiful Thurmont, Maryland, Frederick County. Beautiful and, area of the and, country. Um, and how do you how do you like the general feel of the car so far? This is a great ride. This is fun. I was looking forward to it, but I really didn't know what to expect. But it's actually better than I expected as far as performance and as far as handling. Mm -hmm. It really is a nice, tight car, and the handling is fantastic. And let's well, do you a just bit of, turned, let's do a little You just dump. turned around in a circle there. Yeah, just did a U turn. Yep, yep. Ready for a little acceleration? Yep, here we go. Holy mackerel, how fast that, are we then? Right that was there. 65 that quick. Zero. 65, just like that. Stopped 65 that quick. So when they're talking about three point some odd seconds, they're right on. They're being accurate. That is correct. And and it felt like to me like the power was just immediate. Yeah, and there's no breakaway of tires or anything like that. It's just strictly to the wheels, you feel it. So it's a definite neat so sensation. That, so really the weight distribution and all, they must have it right because like you say, m a lot of cars you'd have the tires breaking loose with that amount of acceleration. The only correlation that I can give to you with an automobile situation would be like an amusement ride. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you take some of these new amusement parks that have these uh, roller coasters that start from zero and start from zero and then bolt you out real quick mm -hmm. and then usually go up or down or backwards. Yeah. The only thing different between this and that is the fact that we're not going to go upside down hopefully. Yeah. Um, this is really a, a nice running. So really game. it's almost hard to equate this to any other normal car that you've driven. It's kind of a whole different experience. That is correct. It is a different experience. It's a different feel. Steering is the same as a lot of other cars, mm -hmm. but the actual performance and takeoff, nothing like that I felt before. It really is different and exciting. I like this. You know, and it, so it, before this car came out, I gotta tell you, as being a car guy and performance guy, I was always kind of like thinking the electric car was the enemy. Mm -hmm. But now I can look at something like this and say, hey, this is not the enemy. This is the future. And it seems like it's extremely well made too. It seems like you're going to have a lot of longevity out of it as well. It, at least that's my feeling. It's good and tight, no rattles, and uh, all the panels that I saw fit together well. I like it. It's a very nice car. Now granted, the price tag right now for an automobile like this does put it into a category where there are a lot of other nice cars. but. Not too many that you can plug in, do 185 miles, and not spend any fuel. This is really in supercar category. Yes, it no, is. Really. Yes. And and if you look at it that way, $100,000 price tag is where you would be anyway if you're right. buying a supercar. You're buying a new Viper. You're buying the ZR1 Corvette with 650 horsepower. You're buying a you know a Ferrari, Ferrari yep. Lamborghini. You're you're ahead of that situation. This price this is priced out better. So for all those reasons and things, I would say that this definitely would be a better economic uh, car for than those right now for just fun performance. Yep. Man, this thing really goes, doesn't it? Yes, Look it does. at that. Oh. Holy mac. And by the way, we want to let everybody know that someone has let us borrow this in order to do this. We appreciate that. Yeah, uh, Merit. Hopefully they never see this video. Merit Builders. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic automobile all the way around. Yes. This is lots of fun. Frederick.com keyword Tesla for photos, MeritBuilders.com for a charging station, Tesla Motors for a car, and DaveSerio.com to learn about Dave.